I love you, Daddy, was Louis C.K. desperately trying to be Woody Allen. And and it, that, that desperation was just palpable, you know? Mm. Here, I think Julie Delpley pretty effortlessly pulls off making a Woody Allen type movie. Mm -hmm. She doesn't draw attention to it. There was, no, you know, there wasn't like the, oh, okay, it's going to have the, you know, the credits with the jazz score in the beginning and it's going to, you know, there's going to be a lot of talk about her being in therapy or whatever. I, I didn't, I, I just, I felt that influence without feeling like she was trying to copy him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, her character is maybe the closest to, like, the Woody archetype. The nervous and, you know, talks really fast and, you know. Um, and yet it wasn't grating. It wasn't Kenneth Branagh in Celebrity. Yeah. You know, it wasn't somebody who's doing an impression of Woody. It was somebody who just, I think, feels connected to him. I don't know how she feels about him now because this movie is 10 years old and, you know, I'm pretty sure now she'd have, she'd feel obligated to say horrible things about him. Um, although I don't know, because the French are a lot more forgiving to Woody than yeah. um, uh, Americans are. But yeah, I I just felt like, you know, the, you talked about the scene in the elevator with, with where the neighbor is angry about all the noise and, you know, says, I'm going to get you evicted and the only thing that that her character can do is just be like, I have a brain tumor. I have like three weeks to live. And, you know, and then that kind of does pay off towards the end where her art exhibition isn't doing well until like the neighbors show up because they want to buy some of her art because they think she's going to die. And then there's a rush and suddenly her show is successful. So it's sort of like there's a setup to that and there ends up being a payoff instead of it just sort of, you know, not going anywhere at all. Although I just felt like, too, like, that probably would be one of my criticisms for it, is I felt like she wasn't really that invested in the art. She had this show, her family was coming into town for it, she was doing this thing where she was selling her soul and everything. She didn't seem all that invested in it. Mm -hmm. Not in the way that Chris Rock's character is invested in his career. Yeah. It felt like when she thinks it's it, that the show's kind of flopping and that nobody nobody's going to buy any of the art and she's maybe her career is finished. She doesn't seem as torn up about it as she does about other things going on around her. And I don't know. This is where like I, I feel like that there's a sloppiness to this movie. This movie isn't as exact as what a Woody Allen movie would be. It comes across mostly in the family. The scenes with the, the family, like, I can't even, you know, I. granted, I've not had to spend time with, like, a French family, but uh, I don't think that they would act like cartoon characters which is what I felt like was happening in this. Definitely. You know, definitely. They're just the there's a, a a really strange energy that the father gives off to where he's the most likable of the family, but he's also like I don't like he gets a little bit too close to Chris Rock. Oh, that's a scene, little too I think like, there was a scene where Chris was trying to talk to him and he was mm -hmm. just trying to translate something and that scene went on I, and I'm yeah. trying to remember exactly what he was saying, but it went incredibly uncomfortable. But as we know, as if I, I haven't got the clip for this, but Chris Fox says he didn't understand what they were saying <laughs> yeah. for the most part. So I guess, and I think it will come up in another clip. Judy Deppy said they didn't rehearse a lot. A lot of this was genuine and, you know, they just went for it. And again, the authenticness comes across 100%. But Again, I'll say it's for hundred. Well, I didn't say this exactly, but I really wish I saw Chris Rock and Judy Depp Lee's relationship develop because mm -hmm. in the first 10 minutes, they speak about how they got together, but you never see it. 
Yeah. You never feel it develop like Ethan Hawke and her. I, I'm not trying to compare this to the before as much. I'm just saying that when I saw the cover of the movie, that's what I thought I was going to see. Because in the first movie, that's what her relationship was about with the other guy. I can't remember that. It's something Goldberg. But, and I really wanted to see that dynamic as well. You know, there, for those who care, a multi, you know, uh, racial in relationship. She's half uh, uh, American uh, French as well. It's nice to see the dynamic. And they play a bit of the culture thing up a little bit. You know, more for the racist comedy, which is okay. But I really wanted to actually see you know, the actual chemistry and it's there, but I don't think they spent enough time on it, which is again, part of my frustration because uh, Chris Rock, I, I have no doubt he could have sold it. We saw that in top five as well. We've seen other movies and Julie Depp, he's a master at romantic romance period. So again, I was left wanting and all we got for again, 80% of the movie, in my opinion, was a lot of this zany family just constantly arguing with Judy Deppley or frustrating her and then the, a lot of the the time she had with Chris Rock was them bickering about her family mm. and him being you know understandably frustrated and her just being frazzled by again her career her family possible pregnancy and it's just like damn I really wanted to see you guys play off each other but and then eh. and you just brought up something that, that I do feel like there was a setup and no payoff to which mm. is the actor Vincent Gallo appears in the movie. Yeah. And uh, real quick, because I'm never going to get a chance to sure. mention this again. Sure. Anybody out there who's interested in something, like th th go out and watch his movie Brown Bunny. Um, okay. Because it's, um, I've not watched that movie except for a uh, five minute scene that you can only see on a porn site <laughs> okay because he has the actress i think her name is uh uh i'm gonna butcher it lily sobleski mm. give him a blowjob in that movie mm. like an actual real one it kind of ruined her career for a while her her uh agency dropped her after she did it and everything 